So I'd like to talk about my Tactical Works cheek pad. So the problem I had with this Wasser 10 was that the compensator that came with it caused the rifle to swing that way every time I shot it. I was getting smacked in the face with the buttstock, which isn't pleasant. So my quick fix was to put something over the stock to cushion my face. And I'm not exactly sure how I found it, but what I found was this cheek pad. And I was looking for an American-made cheek pad. And I wanted something simple. I didn't want something that, uh, that I was going to have to drill into the stock or anything else like that. And this definitely fits that criteria. So it's kind of suede type material on this side. Uh, tactical work sells them left and right handed uh, and then on, on the right side it's got a zippered pouch where you could store things in there. The ones I'm seeing on their website today, I mean I got this two years ago I think it was, the ones I'm seeing on their website today now have uh, little loops here for uh, cartridges so it's probably geared more towards the stock on a hunting rifle maybe a bolt action where you would pull the cartridge out and load them one at a time or something like that I haven't seen this particular model with the zippered pouch on their website. I'll go ahead and include a link in the description. But it just gives you an idea of what to expect if you order this. What I, I like about it too is on the inside here, it says uh, Tech Ops phone number, right? And uh, it says Made in the USA. In Beverly Hills, California. So, this is from California. So, I'll go ahead and mount it on the rifle. See if I can do this on camera without screwing it up. So, I've inverted the rifle to try to make it a little bit easier to show this on camera. Hopefully, I don't knock everything off the reload bench. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it up here along the spine of the uh, cheek rest. And then I'm going to run this strap along the inside and that's going to hold that in place there. There's loop and hook and there's rings here to run them through and there's even enough room to get underneath the sling swivel and the sling and attach that there and get this through here and attach that there. So I don't really think this was intended primarily for an AK style stock. I think this is kind of a generic one size fits all kind of a setup here. This strap in the back is what really keeps it on. These, it would be nice if I could run it all the way through, but in order to get the hook and the loop to attach. I've got to overlap it. There is some slop down here, but it does allow for the sling to be attached and it does stay in place when you're firing. So hopefully you can see this is what my cheek rests on and it's nice and comfortable even without uh, having a compensator that wants to kick this into my face. I think I'm going to leave this on for now. I really haven't used the pouch for anything, but I could. But for right now, this uh, it just uh, it's protective and it's it's not really in intrusive. And the gun is not exactly mil -serp. The Wasser 10 is a commercial, it's a Romanian commercial AK. And it's got American parts on it, Romanian parts on it. So, I, you know, I mean, this is a Romanian stock, it's Romanian grip and, and a few other things, but Overall, I mean, the Romanians never had a, uh, a scope mount on there, so I'm not exactly going mill serp on this. It's a little bit of both, so I'm okay with having this on there, and it's really simple to take off. But I thought you might want to see exactly what I've done to it to deal with the muzzle uh, or the compensator, the muzzle device, causing uh, this slap. And now that I've got it resolved. I don't need this anymore, but I want to leave it on there. So there you go. It's from 
Tactical Works Inc. Thanks for watching.